Hi everyone, my name is Peng Tian. I'm the lab director of, of MU Plant Diagnostic Clinic. Today, I'm gonna talk about bacterial disease of vegetable. Uh, before talking to the details about the different diseases of vegetable, I would like to introduce you two basic concepts of plant pathogen. Uh, those two concepts are symptoms and signs. So like human being, the plant can get sick too. So if we get a flu, we may have different symptoms such as headache or muscles sore, or we have a runny nose. Uh, similarly, the plant may react to the disease or disorder with the symptoms. So basically the symptoms signal the plant is not functioning normally. And there are various terms for different symptoms such as like chlorosis, necrosis, a leaf spot, leaf specks, leaf freckles, leaf blight. It can be sometimes really confusing. And the symptom can look similar between the uh, causal agents of disease and some fungal pathogens and bacteria pathogen can cause similar symptoms. Regarding the signs, it is more specific to plant pathogens. Uh, they are visible structures made by the plant pathogens or the disease agents that cause the symptoms. I wanted to point out some environmental stress such as droughts or chemical damage or uh, fertilizer burn. They can cause symptoms, but there's no signs. So I would like to use two examples to show you the difference between symptoms and signs. Uh, so the first one, you can see this uh, sad looking, probably peach or apple stem. Uh, so where are the symptoms? So basically the symptom, you can see that it's a, a bark splitting open and a sunken canker and as well as those blacking uh, part of the stem. Those are the symptoms. What about the signs? So the signs are actually the little orange color uh, fungal fruiting body. If you zoom in, it looks like this. Each one uh, is look like a, a peach fruit, I guess. So if the weather condition become favorable for this pathogen, each ball that carries maybe 10 of thousand, maybe millions of spores, they're gonna burst open and start to transmit and disperse the spore to nearby trees. That's how they uh, spread from plants to plants. So now you know the symptoms are more on the plants, but the signs are more for the pathogen. Let's look at the next example. Uh, this one is probably from the pepper, uh, uh, from pepper plants. You can see the uh, symptoms are pretty noticeable. Uh, those uh, uh, leaf spots, uh, necrotic area, lesions, and edge burning, and also yellow rain. Those are all symptoms. What about the signs? The signs may be a little bit difficult because it really depends on causal agents. If it's a fungal pathogen, we may look for the fruiting body like I uh, showed you in a previous slides. But for the uh, bacterial disease, you had to use the uh, microscope to look at um, the, uh, the symptoms for bacteria cells, which are oozing out from the edge of the leaves. Those bacteria streaming are the signs for bacterial disease. Regarding bacterial disease, uh, there are several different types of bacteria disease that can affect um, the uh, vegetables and especially crops, the leaf spots, leaf speck, the leaf blight caused by Zesomonas or Pseudomonas species, which I already showed you in the uh, previous slides, and they can uh, cause leaf uh, spots all over the leaves, and uh, they can um, cause the premature um, defoliation. They're more common in the spring when the temperature, uh, when the condition is hot and warm or uh, very humid. Another two uh, bacteria disease are more associated with the rotten uh, or fruit rot uh, symptoms. Uh, one is soft rot for tomato, the other is a fruit uh, blotch of uh, uh, cucurbits. Uh, especially this disease, it is normally seed um, transmitted. So you have to use disease-free seeds or certified seeds when you plant those uh, watermelons. Another bacterial disease is black rot. This disease is very common for uh, cruciferous um, crops. Uh, you can see the uh, lesions on the edge um, that was shown in this photo as the disease progresses, uh, those area will become bigger and bigger and cover the whole uh, leaves. And uh, if you smell the surface of this lesion, it, it, it definitely, you can smell it's rotten and 
it's not really ple pleasant to, to smell that. So um, this is black rot. Another very common uh, black uh, bacteria disease is fire blight for fruit trees. Uh, this is from the apple tree. It can cause shoots and buds and uh, the leaf blight uh, caused by uh, Arrhenia amylovera. I would like to also spend a, I mean, a few seconds talk about this bacteria disease called bacteria canker. It was caused by clever vector and it can cause both the vascular discoloration and also really systemically causing the, the leaves uh, and the whole plant disease. You can see the leaf burning and lesions all over the leaf and the, the, the plant normally died really fast. And this disease was also transmitted by the seed. So uh, to summar, uh, summarize everything about bacterial disease for vegetable and especially crops, uh, they prefer warm and hot, humid condition. They can be uh, uh, spread by splashing water uh, or human tools, shoes, and hands. It can present in the soil and the seeds, uh, and it can be vectored by insects. The, uh, the transplant can also be another source uh, for the inoculum. To control bacterial disease, um, like uh, you have to track all the, the dispersion, uh, dispersal pattern for the disease. The, uh, to you uh, for irrigation, it's better to you avoid using uh, splashing water or overhead irrigation and uh, have good sanitation, get rid of all the disease plant as soon as possible. Because some bacteria can overwinter in the plant debris and they can reinfect the plant in the next season. Uh, fungicide is not effective in controlling bacteria disease. You have to use bactericides. Uh, there's a, a vegetable um, a guide for Middle West uh, a homeowner uh, or growers uh, you can refer to uh, for the uh, bactericide application recommendations.